Olé. Olé. <laughs> Hello. This we... is Donald Worth. We are just arriving in the famous town. That's right. My grandfather was from here. He uh, <laughs> founded the first gymnasium here. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. I can see a tower, a clock tower. I see the tower myself now. Most probably the hot house. My great grandfather helped out building the tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. We are going to see that. No! Hello. We are passing through uh, one famous bridge. Yes. Town. Here we are crossing this small river. This is nice. A little restaurant area here. So we are here near the statue of Augustus. In this, uh, this is one of the main squares in the old town of Altburg. This statue um, is from the year 1594. And that's the town hall, the Rat House. We are at the third city of Bavaria. And one of the oldest. And it's also the third oldest city in Germany, next to Trier and uh, it's the third oldest city. Now you can see the Germany coat of arms, the two head eagles. We are standing in front of the dome of the Holy Virgin. Which is the great cathedral of Augsburg. It was initially Romanesque, but then it was remodeled in the 14th century right. with the Gothic line. Ah. It still remains the Romanesque door, it's a bronze door, which is quite famous and it still has some stained glass windows dating from the year of 1140. The things you know. So hello, uh, this is Leopold Mozart's house, he was Mozart's father, he uh, lived here. Very famous house here in Augsburg. For those who like classic music, this is uh, the best attraction in town. How? Let's go this way. <laughs> Augsburg, the name Augsburg comes from the name of Emperor Augustus, which was the emperor, the Roman emperor who first founded the Roman camp in, in this area, which is now the old town. And this, this is Maximilianstrasse. Maximilianstrasse is, has a special reputation of being the most beautiful street in South Germany. And in Maximilianstrasse, which about uh, in the year 1600 was also known as the Imperial Mouth. He had three magnificent, magnificent fountains with uh, bronze sculptures. He has one of August, of the Emperor August. Near the statue of, uh, of August. This one on the middle is the Mercury, and then uh, the one down the street is the Hercules fountain. And what's that? Church of Saint Ulrich. St. Ulrich. All right, so Maximilianstrasse. Guten Tag, Fräulein. Hallo. Was ist los? Was, ein Strudel? Nein. <laughs> ja. interesting things about the city. By the time of the Roman Empire, the city uh, was called Augusta Vindelicorum and until the end of 13th century it was ruled by powerful bishops and then it became a free town in 1316. In the Holy Roman Empire. It was uh, one of the ri richest uh, towns uh, in the whole country. But then by the time of the Thirty Years' War... Uh, it lost a bit of its, of its wealth. Yes, and, uh, right. and lost uh, some uh, progression. Yeah. That war has um, has affected the southern Germany a lot. We are in Fugre. Fugre. Old, the, the oldest social housing state uh, was founded by Jacob Fugre and uh, his two brothers Ulrich and George and they found this house for the 
the poorest families, to help the poorest families and uh, the most needed people in Oslo. It was founded in 1516. It's the oldest social institution in Europe, right? Yes. A nice attraction that you can find in Jacobstrasse. Entry fee is 4 euros. And this is the last spot we're gonna check out here in Augsburg before we head out south. So, first off, this part of the Romantic Road is a highway which uh, connects Augsburg to Landsberg. It's a wonderful weather as you can see. It's pouring! After Landsberg we're heading to Schongau where we're gonna eat something. But our final destination for today is Füssen where the great Neuschwanstein is lying. Hello! This is the old town of Landsberg am Lech. It's actually the next town in the Romantic Road after Augsburg. Uh, we got a bit lost for a while. We followed the Romantic Road on the opposite direction. The signs are not very specific, not very clear about the uh, the way you should yeah. go, if it's north, if it's south. They don't tell you the destination, so it doesn't make things very a lot easier. We have lunch here, and we are actually now going through the bridge. And uh, to Shonghao, which will be our next little stop for Fusen. And guess what? It's snowing! It did snow for a little bit, now it stopped actually. It's 1.5 1, 1 degrees Celsius. This is Songhao's old, Song old town. We got a, a little bit lost again. And now I give you a piece of advice. Between Augsburg and Fusen, if you want to follow the romantic road, just don't pay attention to all those brown plates Fine. that say yes. Let's say Romantische Strasse because you will get lost. Just the, take the 17. <laughs> the plates just go confusing. They, they get confusing, they send you everywhere and you don't quite know the way. So just follow uh, the road 17, yeah. It's a lot easier. So yeah, Shongao. So we have arrived in Ohen Shangao and there in the distance, really small, it is the Neuschwanstein. Yay! We are seeing it for the first time. 